So today, let's talk about Canadian Prepper and full spectrum survival in the fog of war. So on today's Canadian Prepper video, he was talking about the destruction of the dam in Ukraine and invasion on all fronts with supposed revolutionaries invading Russia when it's more likely there's 10 Russian mercs, Ukrainian army, and mercs from Western countries doing it. What I find interesting is Canadian Prepper demonstrated how confusing the fog of war is in the video he did today. And he discussed in depth all the information coming in, a lot of it bogus, a lot of it you couldn't geolocate, some of it you could geolocate, and he couldn't believe that we're where we are. And you know, I got to point out, we kind of mapped this out two years ago, how it was going to go and how there was going to be extraterritorial warfare to take pressure off by both sides. And the fact that that extraterritorial warfare could very easily expand into a nuclear war. And while this scenario was playing out, the Communist Chinese would use the opportunity to invade Taiwan while Biden was president. Now, that gets us to an interesting point. I've worked on projects with nuclear chemical and biological materials where we were not allowed to communicate anything to the public whatsoever while we we're doing that work. So if you had an incident, if you had a fire, if you created fallout from an explosion, a fire, an accident, you could not notify the public. You had to fight the fire with your personnel on site. You could not have anybody come to the site to assist you. So that brings us to the point that anybody that's flying a plane, moving military equipment to another country, that information can only come if the government wants it to come. All this info people are receiving is because it's supposed to be received. We have a fog of war where it's becoming obvious and people are starting to realize they don't really know what's going on. They don't know what the situation is. They don't know the impacts of the situation. They don't know how to project the impacts on themselves, their country, the economy, etc. So that brings us to the second point. Not only can we be in the fog of war, but individuals can be producing the fog of war. So that begs the question. All the information, all the clickbaiting, all of the discussions, the suppositions, the projection, the mysterious and unknown sources that all these channels are using, and the fact that the algorithm loves these channels. So when we look at Canadian Prepper, we look at Full Spectrum Survival, they are very well matched to the algorithm. The algorithm likes them. So the real question to ask yourself is, the algorithm employing these two channels to further the fog of war and influence you? Please share your thoughts. We'll see you on the next video.